My name is Matt Libera. I'm a professor at Stevens Institute of Technology. I'm in the Department of Chemical Engineering and Material Science, and my research expertise focuses on the properties of surfaces and specifically biomaterial surfaces. And I'm interested in using hydrogels and microgels to modulate the properties of, of how surfaces interact with proteins and biomolecules and, and cells. The first team at Stevens to receive an ICOR grant was a professional Libera team. The i program is funded by the National Science Foundation to educate students and faculty members on the entrepreneurship process and to provide funding to facilitate commercialization of NSF-funded ideas and discoveries. i program is extremely useful for our faculty. It gives them the opportunity to work with the students work with the industry, expand their horizons, and become a lot more entrepreneurial in all their academic activities. It's there to promote the commercialization of technologies of basic research that the NSF originally funded. But more important than that, it's trying to educate research students and faculty members in the process of entrepreneurship so that their product is not simply research output, but they recognize the commercial opportunities when, when they're present. To become involved with i uh, faculty members need to have previously funded research from NSF. They need to have the fire in the belly, so to say, to go after uh, commercialization of their technologies. They need to have a team. We've had a research activity in my group, and a natural outcome of that was to apply to the NSF i program. GT Diatech is trying to help clinicians and hospitals in clinical offices rapidly identify infectious disease. We are building up a platform to help the doctors and hospitals to identify the pathogens of the patients in a faster way. Currently, the detection time is about typically about one to two days. With our technique, we can hopefully make this uh, process as short as one to two hours. As a Vice Provost for Innovation and Entrepreneurship, I find the whole program extremely useful. Specifically at Stevens, over the last 10 years, we have been implementing entrepreneurship in almost all our undergraduate programs. The design spine has been one of the features that distinguishes Stevens engineering education from a lot of others. It's an eight semester core program that goes from freshman year all the way through senior year. And one of the important things that's changing now is, is the university is incorporating into that design spine what we're calling the, the innovation spine. Students, both undergraduates and grad students, have, just from the nature of the research groups they're working in, they see more innovation, they see more opportunities for commercialization, and they, they're just naturally given more pathways. So we're seeing more undergrads file patent applications from their senior design projects. We're seeing more undergrad groups and teams forming startup companies and taking those with them when they leave. The, the funding from the i program really gave us the opportunity and the education, the, the educational tools to seriously ask the question, is this basic work and basic discovery that we've, we've found relevant in a commercial setting? And is there really a, a possibility of commercialization? 